So you want to become limitless, but you don't know how? Well, let me share with you five different ways to do that. Hey, what's up? Greg here, the founder of your Inception. Welcome to my chat. If you wanna achieve limitless performance, then subscribe below to start your journey. Today, we're gonna talk about limitless, how to become limitless, what does it actually mean? And I'm gonna share with you top five different ways how you can achieve this limitless performance. Now, I'm not sure if you saw the Limitless movie with Bradley Cooper. Now it's a pretty old movie, but a couple of years ago, it was very, very popular. And since many people have seen it, um, they you know, start thinking about how could they improve their performance? How could they become limitless, unlock their brain performance, uh, unlock their brain power, uh, improve their memory, have, you know, be able to do more in a short time and so on. And I've been studying this for quite some time now. I've been studying different productivity experts, biohackers, um, and you know, a whole bunch of different uh, experts from different fields. And what I figured out is that many people define limitless performance or you know, becoming limitless in a different way. They see it like differently. For someone, it just means being extremely productive. For someone else, it means having this photographic memory or um, something, you know, being really, really focused all the time. For someone else, uh, it's having this abundance of energy every single day. Now, in my opinion, becoming limitless, it actually means that you have to um, basically have a look at all those different aspects of your life, of your performance, and hack each of them to get to limitless. So if you just hack one of them, if you improve your sleep, for example, you know, this will slightly change your performance, but it's not gonna do much like in terms of overall um, limitless, right? So that's what we're gonna talk about and today and in this video, I wanna share with you five different ways how you can actually achieve the state of limitless. Whatever you're gonna use it for, that's a new to decide. So if you're ready, let's just begin. First thing I wanna talk about is boosting your energy. Whatever you do in your life, if you want to uh, read more, if you want to learn more, if you want to tackle advanced tasks, if you want to start a new company, a new corporation, if you want to be CEO of a big corpo, uh, then of course you need an abundance of energy every single day. And without it, you cannot be productive, you cannot focus, you cannot get into the flow, you cannot improve any area of your life. You need to be energized every single morning and you need to wake up with lots of energy before you even you know, consider using um, energy boosters, consider using smart drugs, nootropics, and so on. That's the important thing. Now, how you can do that, there are a lot of stuff you need to consider. First of all, you need to optimize your sleep, obviously. Secondly, you need to optimize your diet. I'm not favoring one part of that, but in general, your diet should be 90% plant-based. Um, if you want to have an abundance of energy every single day. You need to be able to set up some kind of a morning and evening routine. Why is this important is because uh, once your body gets used to a specific routine every single morning and every single evening, um, it's somehow gonna optimize its performance just like subconsciously. Um, so every morning when you follow a certain routine, it's gonna be so much easier to uh, get into this uh, power flow, as I like to call it, or focus flow, uh, which will allow you to work on this um, high performance level. And that's the important thing. So you need a morning and you need an evening routine. That's very, very important. You need to sleep at least seven hours per night. And if possible, try to wake up without using an alarm clock. I mean, this will make such a big difference. I know there are guys like Gary Vaynerchuk and, and similar gurus um, guys that I respect and admire, they're like Arnold Schwarzenegger is also one of those, uh, constantly telling you should sleep shorter, you should work more, blah, blah, blah. You know, it really has nothing to do with limitless performance. Like people who work on the highest level possible, if they're not somehow um, preconditioned or like if they don't have like a particular biological um, advantage compared to others, they need a lot of sleep. And you know, six hours, five hours, four hours per night, it's not enough if you wanna work on such a high level for a long period. If you wanna do it like for one week, it doesn't matter. You're gonna do it and you're gonna crash. You're gonna recover and that's it. But if you wanna do it constantly, and that's what Limitless is, right? Being constantly on this high level for weeks and months and years, and, you know? That's what you need to do. So, you know, ensure you get enough sleep. And of course, meditation is important. Meditating five to 10 minutes a day, probably more is better. I mean, there's no doubt about it, but um, 10 minutes is enough, in my opinion, 
um, just to get yourself in this um, hyper focus flow, right? To to kind of uh, you know put all the clutter away, all the stuff that is like jumping around your head. Just put it away, and that you kind of focus on your breathing. And by doing that, it's going to be so easier for you, so much easier for you to get into the flow. It's important to that. And of course, nootropic supplements, they all help. Like you can find on my channel a lot of information about that, uh, about the best nootropics for brain performance because they can unlock this, you know, a little bit like additional 5, 10% of your performance. Like they can um, help you get focused, how to improve your energy levels. Uh, they can um, attack different, um, basically different aspects of your uh, current cog cognition uh, to allow you to improve your performance and they can slow down cognitive decline as well they can you know they can do so many things for you um protect your brain so they kind of play an important role here but not as an individual compound not like in the movie in the limitless movie where bradley takes this magical pill he his iq increases and then all of a sudden he started crashing losing memory we don't want that to happen we want to have a steady flow of energy of power of productivity you know uh, for a long period that's what's gonna bring crazy results. So after, you know, this is fixed, so your brain and body performance is optimized, then of course we can go to the second point, and that is getting into the flow. Now, I'm sure it happened to you before that you are working on a particular task, and all of a sudden you just forgot about the time, you were just working like constantly focused into one particular task and you were working for like hours and hours and hours and you didn't know what's happening around you. There was no struggle for you. There was no, you know, no pain in doing it. There was like no constant um, urge to do something else, to check social media and so on. Yeah, you were in the flow. And if you want to work on this limitless level, if you want to become limitless, you have to hack your flow. You have to be able to fall in this flow every single day. How do you do it? Of course, following the morning routine, that's the baseline. Uh, taking right nootropics, um, you know, doing a lot of different stuff like um, making, like choosing one main task for the day or at least for one part of the day, figuring out in which part of your day you are the most productive. And then of course, a lot of different stuff you can do. Why is this flow so important is because once you're in the flow, you're not really um, present. I mean, you're like, in one way, you're completely present, but in the other way, you're really not uh, aware of what's happening around you. You're just like completely focused into this one particular task and your brain is working on such a high level. It is insane. If you ever watch like Formula One, there's a cool documentary on Netflix right now. Um, you can check it out. You'll see those guys. I mean, they get into this hyper focus flow and they stay in it for like, you know, hour and a half. And it's just insane. I mean, so that's the second most important thing to do. By the way, guys, I've revealed seven special secrets that are gonna show you how you can outperform everyone else around you. To get my free handbook, download below. The third thing I wanna talk about is reading and learning. Now, I have my Kindle here. I love it. It's like, um, yeah, one of the best things I ever bought. Um, and I use it like for reading tons of books. I really read like, you know, a couple of books per month. Not just books about self, uh, improvement about um, productivity, about biohacking and so on. But I read like a whole bunch of different books like about war, about history, you know, whatever comes um, into my hand and you know, it has a pretty good mark on Goodreads. Um, that's what I read. And what allows reading me to do is I'm expanding my know-how, I'm expanding my brain power. Um, and that's what you need to do as well. Um, not just reading for the sake of reading, but reading to learn new things, um, to ensure that you get a lot of input into your brain so your brain can start making different um, formations of the know-how that you gather. Um, it, it makes new important memories. And uh, as a result of that, of being an active reader, um, you're gonna have so much know-how, you're gonna, you're gonna put your brain into a different mode. And by constantly reading and learning, taking online courses, going to events, um, first of all, you will have the know-how or you will get the know-how to be able to outperform everyone around you, which will, you know, from other people's perspective, this is gonna look like you're, you're limitless and it's really crazy. But on the other hand, you will constantly keep your brain engaged by being an active reader. This doesn't mean you sit in your couch and you know you read like a novel for like ages and ages and you know you almost fall asleep. But it means like having a pen or using a can like I do, 
um, and then constantly thinking and rethinking and writing notes down and then rechecking those notes and going back into the notes. Like I use Evernote, um, the free tool basically, to write everything down, um, all the know-how that I get. And the more you do it, the more know-how you'll get, the more active your brain will be. And this is one important step in this process of becoming limitless. By the way, guys, if you like this video, press the like button below. I'll be super happy about it. Another thing I want to talk about is sharing those ideas, this new uh, know-how that you get from books, from online courses with people around you. This is like so important, even though it probably doesn't sound that important, but it really is. Because once you start reading, once you start learning, you'll get a lot of know-how. But if you don't use this know-how immediately, and sometimes it's just not possible to use it, then what's going to happen is you will forget about it. It might, you know, be stored in your, in your memory, but it's not going to be like a, a memory that you can uh, simply use and, and apply the know-how that you gather. However, what you have to do is you have to share this know-how with people around you. You have to talk about the new ideas that you learn. You have to um, put your brain not just into an active reading or active learning mode, but you have to put it into an uh, action-oriented mode. Let's call it like that. Your brain has to be able to use the information that it just got and then apply it to new areas. And of course, you can train this by sharing your know-how with people around you, discussing with people around you the new ideas that you gather, you talk about the books, I talk about this, this new new concept that you get. And by doing that, your mind will just go like, bam, 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 like it's gonna expand. And, and, and that's important thing. Like, yes, you can take some magical pills, you can take some magical nootropics and supplements that will allow you to have, to be more focused, right? Uh, to be more productive, that's all right. But if you're not gonna use that to help yourself and to push yourself further, then, I mean, you will never become limitless. And, you know, then, you know, everything we do here or, you know, trying to help you out, it's not gonna work. So use the know-how, um, apply it immediately, and this will step-by-step step bring you closer to your goals. And last but not least, become a master of your time and your tasks. And this is like so, so, so important. Because in the first couple of steps, you will allow yourself, you will put yourself on a level where you will be able to expand your know-how, to expand your performance, to be more productive, to, have, to be more focused, to have more energy, and uh, so on. However, without being productive, without mastering your time, this is not gonna help you. You know, you will just have the brain power, but you will use it for you know doing stupid things. That doesn't make any sense. So you have to become master of your time, your priorities. Uh, this means, first of all, try to avoid all social media as much as possible. Uh, block different parts of the day that you're most productive in for high quality, for engaged work, working on advanced stuff, on advanced tasks. Then, you know, stop checking your emails every single day. Stop picking up your phone all the time, stop being available, become unavailable. You know, you can become co completely cocky or like, you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter as long as you have this vision, you have this, you're on this mission uh, of becoming limitless and doing something great in your life. You need to be master of your time. You need to be able to tell people, look, this is the time I'm working, this is the time I'm relaxing, don't forget about that. And this is the time I have available for everyone else. It is so simple. Without doing it, you will fail. Sadly, that's how it is. So those are some of the concepts I wanted to share with you, some of the tricks, some of the strategies that you can incorporate in your day right now and will get you towards this limitless performance, towards becoming limitless. Now, once you get closer to it, what you're gonna do with it, that's on you, right? If you're gonna play video games, that's fine. If you wanna, like I said before, drive Formula One, that's fine. If you wanna f go to the moon, that's fine as well. If you just wanna use it to teach your dog something, that's fine as well, that's on you to decide. But, you know, start hacking different parts of your performance at the same time, applying different gather know-how, make sure you have enough energy, make sure you have a great sleep, make sure that you have everything like in order, everything that we talked about, and step-by-step, step, you will get there. It is not easy, but you can manage it. So, thank you for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook, Instagram. Don't forget subscribing to this channel and pressing the gray, I find that it's the gray button. And I hope to see you soon, guys. Take care.